Boop -ba doo It's Sunday. Happy Sunday, y'all. Come on down. I'm looking for my people. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is weird. There we go. Hi, Haida. <laughs> Sometimes I just wonder about this thing. It takes a minute. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Sunday. It is Sunday. It is Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, blessed Sunday. Welcome. Hi, Tracy and Margie. Come on in. Let's get some people coming on. Hello, love those puppies. I'm glad you're here too. And Morgan and Sue. I see all my sprinters. Hi, Sandy. And Joanne, happy Sunday to you too. And Haida. Yes, Jean is from Racine, Wisconsin. I bet it's cold up there. So how is everybody doing today? You know, today is day seven of the sprint. And for a lot of people, this is, we're just kind of wrapping things up. It's been a successful run. And I think there's a lot of people who are, you know, putting together different uh, plans to get going. Some of them are joining the club. I sure hope we have some more club members coming in. Um, if you haven't taken a look, go to savingdinner.com slash club. Um, the club is going to get you in and help you <laughs> complete your journey. This is a whole year's journey and I'm there uh, as your guide to help you. And if you join for the year, I'm going to guide you as best I can. And we will have a one-on-one -on -one consultation and It'll be pretty cool. Yep, I'm excited about it. This is my year, and I want it to be yours too. I'm going to own 2020. I don't know about you guys. If you're going to own 2020, tell me about it. You know, we are about six weeks away. Isn't that just ridiculous? Six, seven weeks away. How is it that Sunday that it has gone so quickly? Hey, Marie. How oh, just nice to see you. It's great to see everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Um, it's, you know, Monday morning when you wake up, <laughs> it is, if you are part of the sprint, this is when I want you to take your measurement, right? Write them down and notice how my ca camera is backwards. Sorry about that. Yes, oh, my camera is backwards. Of course it is. This is what happens when I am in a hurry to get on. So uh, listen, are you sharing these broadcasts when you share this broadcast? Somebody, Lucky, is going to win a signed body clutter book. And I promise you, when you get it in person, it will not be backwards. This book is a fantastic book. Listen, you know, I always say, please read the book. And the reason being is that the book has so much in there about food addiction and about the emotional ties that we have to food. And, you know, there are ties. And cutting those ties, man, it is hard sometimes have you ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed how hard it is to just get, you know, get rid of that stuff? It is. But when you're, when you're in a, you know, with a group of people who support you and understand, you know, you can get rid of that. You can get on with it. We're going to set, we're, that book is going to go out signed by both Marla and I, because we both wrote it and somebody's going to win it. And the way that you win it is by sharing these saving dinner broadcasts, these Facebook lives, you save it publicly, say a little something about it, and then put it out into the world. I like it when you put things out in the world. Thank you. Great book with many insights. There are a lot of insights there and there's more to come. You guys We're working on the next, uh, the next book because there's been a lot of things happening between <laughs> then and now. I mean, that was almost 15 years ago almost 15 years ago that we wrote that book. Things are, you know, life changes. The, the world changes. We change. Um, we were 40-something-year-old women when we wrote that, weren't we? Yeah, in our 40s. Um, we are now in our 60s. Things change. You have a different perspective. We weren't even, we were perimenopausal at the time. We didn't even have, hadn't even gone through menopause. Menopause <laughs> puts a different color on your ro rose colored glasses, doesn't it? Yeah, it can be easy for some, it can be difficult for others. And 
You know, your body changes a lot. But what I want to talk to do today about is uh, clarity and focus and confidence because these are all the ingredients that we use in order to build for the next thing, especially when we're making a big change. You know, we just we get into these places of just thinking, "Ugh, oh, this is this is hard. I I don't know if I can do it." And and then we look at other people and we say, "Oh, but they have it so much easier." You know. Um, the, the cards are stacked against me. I, I, for me, it's so hard. I've got more weight to lose than she does or whatever. And and I think what we need to do is we need to back out of all of that for a minute. And I've said this a hundred times before that, you know, that, um, comparison is the thief of all joy. It's also takes the air and the wind out of your sails and it stops steering your boat. You know, we can't do that to ourselves. When we do that to ourselves, we put ourselves in, I believe, in jeopardy. I believe we put ourselves in jeopardy because it's easy to abandon ship at that point. Just say, I just, you know, I'm just going to give it up. This is not what we want to be doing. What we want to be doing is walking toward our goals, even though it might not be easy. It's always simple. Have you noticed that? These, the good things in life that you want are simple. It's not easy, but easy has never gotten us anything of quality, has it? I, don't, I can't think of one thing. It, it takes a lot of work to create the life that you really want. But when you are deliberately thinking of, of what it is that you want and deliberately creating into your routine the things that you know are going to move the needle, then things start to shift. Things really start to shift because that has become the consistent part of the routine. It has, and this is why I always say, piggyback on something that you're always doing it, doing. Because if you're always making your bed, for example, or if you're always uh, unloading the dishwasher first thing in the morning and you can attach a couple of things, first of all, it triggers in your head And second of all, it will get done because that will become as much of a routine as making the bed or, you know, doing, unloading the dishwashers. I like it. Um, Rita Davenport says, it costs nothing to dream, but everything if you don't. And I think those dreams are fantastic, but the dreams have to have something attached to them. You know, write down your dream, write down and just, just relax and, and just enjoy and imagine. One of my favorite things to say is just imagine. Can you imagine if I can see this or I can see that? When I do that, it just, it activates this real ah, enthusiasm and just yum inside. I like to think of possibilities. I like to think of things that, that could benefit and better my life, other people's lives, whatever. We have that ability to do that at any time. That's a little switch that we can flip. It's a choice, right? It's always a choice. It's a choice to dream or it's a choice to shut it down. It's a choice to say, okay, I've got this great dream. What do I need to do in order to accomplish these things? That is a choice as well. And the more consistent our little choices are as we go, the more our dreams develop and become reality. Because everything starts in a thought, right? Your thought is what begets, begets <laughs> the dream. And the dream is just, it is now it has, it needs, it needs some steps to accomplish. It needs steps to get it there. So let's say your dream is lose 50 pounds. How about we look at five months from now? Can you do 10 pounds a month? Sure you can. We know we've got a plan for that. We know how that works. But can you imagine in, in five months, in five months, December, that would be April and be time for spring. What's your Easter dress going to look like, right? What is, uh, what are you going to be doing? What are your activities going to be? Can you imagine those kind of thing? That kind of thinking is deliberate and it brings to mind a lot of creativity and a lot of imagination. And it gives you sort of a little juice for the, you know, to drive the car. It gives you, it gives you an excitement and enthusiasm. 
it gives you an opportunity to, to start thinking, okay, so if that's going to be 10 pounds a month, then I'm going to go through my calendar. I'm going to put a date on that. I'm going to put a date on that. Um, these are the steps that I'm going to take. I'm going to sprint every time the sprint is available. I'm going to do that uh, with my group and I'm going to be accountable. I'm going to get a body clutter. But all these things start to come into play and they start to create the clarity that you need to start all of that fun stuff. Sherry says she hadn't thought about dress shopping. How exciting. I'm telling you. I have a pair of jeans that I'm looking at right now. My jeans that I have, my tens, these are my tens, are starting to get loose around my, my belly, which is great because I was, you know, really pushing it on my old jeans. So they're starting to get loose. My sixes, well, I can't quite get those on, but they're gonna, they will be on. I heard they will be on. So can you see, you know, when we create for ourselves uh, a focus, our dreams can start to become true. We create steps for those dreams to come true. We create it. We bring it in. I mean, even something that's, you know, absurd that or seemingly absurd, let's go with, you know, I want to have uh, tea with Oprah or something. Um, what would I, how would I do that? What, there's, you start asking questions. You have to ask somebody to introduce you. You have to ask people, who do you know? And you just keep going and you keep going and you keep chiseling away. And before you know it, you, you've got an introduction. Maybe that one's going to be a little bit hard, but I'm going to tell you, somebody who has that intention to go just, just to, you know, full steam ahead is going to do it. It's going to do it. And Sherry, I want you to have some jeans with rhinestones on the pocket too. I want you to go start shopping. Go shop for a pair of jeans. I've got a challenge for everybody. Go onto eBay and find something that you like in the size that you want to be. Don't pay any more than $25 and go buy it. And put a date on it and stick it in your closet. Dare to dream that. Dare to clarify that goal. Put some money behind that goal. This is, you know, these things are how we make things happen. I did this, I had it um, a while ago, you know, this is before my mother died. Um, I had my cheerleader skirt and I kept putting it on, I had it out. I kept putting it on and putting it on and putting it until I finally got it on. I have a picture of me in the bathroom, barefoot, taking a picture of me with the cheerleader skirt on. Now, let me clarify. It was on, but I couldn't zip it up all the way. I had it zipped up about halfway and then, you know, the zipper went like this at the waist. I don't know when you're a, a teenager, you have itty bitty teeny weeny waist. After you have children, things change a little bit, right? <laughs> things shift. But I have to say, you know, at 58 years old, I was pretty darn proud of myself for being able to put on my cheerleading skirt, which was, you know, itty bitty teeny weeny. But we can do that. We can do that. This is, this is the thing, you know, we have these weight loss goals, but we also have health goals. We also have goals for the things that we want to do. We call, you know, of course we call them non-scale victories, but for heaven's sakes, <laughs> I mean, for heaven's sakes, we have these goals and we have these things in our minds because this is what we truly really want dare to dream that it costs nothing to dream and it costs everything if you don't and that's what I'm trying to say to you today is put some clarity behind that put some focus behind that put some action steps behind that and start making it real dreams do come true dreams come true all the time it's the people who pursue them. And the pursuit of them has nothing to do with you versus her or me versus she or any of that. It has nothing to do with any of it. It has to do with what you pursue. And if, you, if you're going to spend all of your energy on comparison, you're going to lose all of your steam. You're giving your energy away. You know what that is like? That's like taking the, the gas off of the, off of the gas pump. And instead of putting it into the car, you're running it all over the pavement. Do you want your car to run or not? 
you're going to need gasoline. You're going to need fuel. You're going to need energy. You're going to need enthusiasm. And you're going to need to put everything that you have into that tank. Not out all over the place. Don't focus on the things that do nothing for you. Focus on the things that are going to get you toward your goal. So what you deliberately think of and what you do routinely is how you create clarity. It's how you create confidence and it's how you create a brand new life and you make it happen. That 50 pound goal, that a hundred pound goal. I don't even care what your goal is. Does it matter? No. The point is if you don't dare to dream and if you don't dare to push out by a little bit out of out of your comfort zone and into something that you really truly want, it's not going to happen. But it can happen at any point when you flip the switch and put it into play. It's that simple. You know, sometimes we, our imaginations get a, a hold of us and I think we need to brattle, bridle those imaginations. You know, instead of thinking of all the reasons we can't, we have to start thinking about all the reasons that we can we have to start looking at things. And that's why I'm always saying to you, create a journal for yourself, create a journal for yourself. If you have an amazing victory and you just tell your friends in your Facebook group and then that's it, you're going to have a, pl- a time in your life where there's a challenge and you're going to forget about that victory. You're going to forget about how you felt. And this is the time that you need to be over. Pop open your journal and take a look and say, you know what? There you go. I did it. There you go. I did it then and I can do it now. Here's the thing. We create little divots in our brain. We create pathways in our brains when things like this, when these new things happen and there's a momentary, uh, a, a momentary success there or a momentary feeling of look at this exhilaration here, but then something's going to happen that's, you know, maybe we'll take away from it. So I don't want you to ever lose that. I want you to go back and find that again. Go back, re-travel that path. That path is a good one. And that path is the one that's going to keep you going into that right direction. I love that part. This is the part that, that should be exciting for all of us. But we, it's really easy to get you know swept off the path, even after all the success, and have one little thing bother you. I've, I've told you this before. But, you know, I've been doing this for 19 years. Uh, I've been being a nutritionist for over 25 years. And (laughs) I have seen a lot of incredible emails from people saying thank you to me, this, that, and the other thing about, you know, everything that whatever it is that we're doing about recipes, books, uh, programs that we have, our dinner answers, all of it. Hundreds, thousands of emails. One comes in, one comes in that's less than wonderful. And that's what I get stuck on. That's our human nature. We get stuck on that one thing. We got 99 things right over here and this one thing wrong over there. That's the one that, ooh, that's what we're going to, you know, focus on. Untrain your brain to do, to not do that, to, to say, you know what, discard that. Let's go over here instead. Let's go back to the success. Let's, let's, Focus on the clarity and let's deliberately keep these dreams alive with all the action steps that we put in them. Those are the things that are just, that's the thing, that's the spark that makes everything run. This is the fantastic thing that we can do for ourselves. This is the fantastic thing that we can do for people in our community. And we bring people along with us. Enthusiasm is infectious, right? Don't you, don't you want to have, don't you want to feel just like I have the juiciest, most wonderful life in the world and I want to bring as many people as I can with me until we tell them that we're (laughs) intermittently fasting and they tell us that we're, we're going to waste our muscle and we're ruining our metabolism and things. So, you know, sometimes we have to keep some things quiet, but we, we have to share our enthusiasm. We have to find our like-minded people. We have to find our tribes. You know, we do things better in community. This is how we're built. You know, we're not hermits. So go see your sisters and and explain, you know, tell them, you know, something good that has happened for you today. Could be something as, you know, I, um, 
what was it? Letha was saying she, she showered her son and was and had all this energy. I mean, that that's a lot because it's it's not an easy task to have to shower somebody who's full grown. I know. I used to shower my mother, and it, it took a lot. And she was 130 pounds of little lady, you know, to do. But it just it exhausted me. It exhausted her. There are things that we can do to bring others along, and there there are little tiny things that are just that are huge things really because those little tiny things can just start a, it's a seed that we plant inside that makes us feel like you know my life is growing you know my capacity to love and to be empathetic is growing you know I, I used to think this way but now I think that way this is what happens as we expand our thinking this is what happens as we expand uh, what our routines are and that we see more of a future for ourselves and we see bigger and better things for ourselves. Brittany said, I put on a coat today and it buttoned all the way down with no bunching. How exciting is that? I mean, all these little things, they add up. These little things add up and every little thing should be celebrated. I want you to celebrate your life as if it is a gift because it is. I want you to celebrate being able to put on the coat that you couldn't put on before. I want you to go buy jeans with rhinestones on the pocket and say, my butt's going to look really cute in there. I want all of this stuff for you because these little things add up and become momentous and completely change your life. How many times have you thought to yourself, you know, my life is just, it's such a drag. Is I get up every day, I go to work, I do these things, I, you know, it's just, it's drudgery. It's sheer drudgery. But what if we could flip that and say, you know, I do these things, I get my house clean, I do, you know, I help do all these different things, but I see the wonderment in the sunrise. I see the wonderment in the sparkle in my husband's eyes when I say something nice to him. I see the wonderment when I, instead of living in a quiet, cooped up life and not saying anything and, and instead of begrudging everything out there, I've started to flip that and starting to appreciate and show love and show gratitude. And wow, look at what's happening in my life. Look how suddenly I have dreams. Suddenly I'm putting something behind those dreams and suddenly they're creating new life for me. One little thing can change everything. One little thing can change everything. Have you ever thought about an avalanche? What is that one little thing that just caused that whole snowbank to come falling down? An avalanche is caused by one more thing, one more snowflake, and boom, down it goes. And this is what, we, it's destructive, but this is what we want in our own lives. We want to keep stacking up those little tiny snowflakes in our lives, those little tiny things in our lives, so that it, all of a sudden it breaks free. Our lives break free and they become way more than we ever thought or hoped for because that's what dreams are about. Dreams are about making our lives more than we have ever thought. And we can do that. Every single person that I'm talking to that's hearing this right now is equipped. It's not special equipment. It's not something that you have to go buy. It's not something that you need to, you know, some special something, something that this guy has and this guy doesn't. Everyone has it inside. It starts with a dream. And that dream is a thought. The first time you've had a thought. And I just, ex <laughs> I am just exhorting you today to start creating a dream that's bigger than you've ever thought before. And believing with all of your heart that you have the capabilities and the people around you and the energy and the God and the everything to make it happen because you do. So you can take this right now and agree or you can say, well, yeah, but you, yeah, but don't yeah, but your way, life away. Please don't do that. I, I, I've done that too. But you know what yeah buts do? Yeah buts shut you down. Yeah, but I've got all of this going on. Yeah, but you know, I'm dealing with elderly parents over here. Or and yeah, but I've got this job that I hate. Yeah, but 
Yeah, but shut down the flow, the energy, the excitement, the joy, the enthusiasm. It, it doesn't create anything that you want. It creates wah wah. <laughs> it's Eeyore's way. And we don't want that. How, how many, you know, have you ever had depression before? <laughs> Anyone? I have. I've had depression. I had to be medicated for depression. You know, and in, in my life, I, I have, I've been through some stuff in my life. And I could yap it and say, well, you know, I've done this and I've done that. And it's just, we can all do that. Or we can say, I'm going to rise above that. Right now, I'm going to rise above that because my dream is bigger than that junk. Do I want this or do I want that? I want that. I want this. I want this massive, huge vision for myself. And I'm not going to settle for less. And I'm not going to let anybody take that away from me because I have a voice. I have a God. I have a tribe and a family and people who care about me. And I have the ways to do this. All I have to do is start with my dreams. That's it. Just like that. How do you like that? You want to start with your dreams? You want to have a great, huge dream that's bigger than depression, that's bigger than all the things that you have to do? Do you want to have a dream that just clouds out all of the stuff that makes you feel like I can't do anything? Then dare to dream. Dare to dream. Write it down. Create your life. Don't just let it happen. Don't be like so many people out there who are just going, breathing in, breathing out, and taking up space. That is not God's intention for you, for me. It's not his intention for anyone. There's a reason you're here, you know? And it starts with your dreams. And, and if you don't have a dream right now, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. You can have a thought. You can have a thought that, that leads to something that you would like to have happen in your life. And if all that is, is a pair of jeans that are a couple of sizes smaller than where you are right now, good enough, right? Good enough. Start with that. But we can't just sit here and just let life go by. When I hear somebody say, oh, I'm just wasting time. I just, I think, oh my gosh, that is like spitting in God's face. He gave you this time. We have limited time here on this earth. <laughs> we have limited time. So if we can stop blessing, you know, stop letting it all go. Stop allowing ourselves to waste it and playing dumb games on our phones and spending way too much time on social media and reading stupid things and f forwarding memes and emails to Come on. We've work to do, ladies. We've work to do. And we have the ability and the capabilities of doing all of it. We hang out with the right people. Watch what happens. So next month, okay, next month is December. And I want you to write this date down. I'm going to find it right here in my calendar. Are you ready? Look at all you ladies blessing Brittany like that. I love it. Okay, Thursday, December 12th. Write that down. Thursday, December 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern. I am going to be doing a Take Back Your Life workshop for everyone. I'm doing one the week before for my club people. We, we will be doing that on Tuesday, the 3rd at 2 p.m. like we always do. We always do a 2 o'clock thing for, um, for our club, our hot milk club. Um, and that's going to be Take Back Your Life to get ready uh, for this, this workshop. And this workshop is taking three months and creating goals that are going to change our lives instead of being overwhelmed with, you know, the whole 30 day thing. Uh, I mean the whole year thing we're going to do it in, in, in 90 days. Okay. And that's, that's how this, this is, this is created the take back your life journal, which I can show you is backwards. <laughs> this is a journal for women who are wanting change and we have it on, you know, anybody who buys this is welcome to come to this webinar. You have to buy this. 
Um, you can buy the hard copy or you can get the PDF and print as many pages as you want and create your own. I don't care. But it's right there on savingdinner.com. Um, you can find it. I don't know where it is, but it's there somewhere. Just trust me, it's there. But I want to help you to create a new year. So for 2020, for January, February, and March, we're going to make things happen. If you've got Take Back Your Life Journal already, girlfriends, get on this because this is what we're going to do. And start collecting magazines right now because we're going to do vision boards and we're going to do um, Take Back Your uh, take back your life. And this is, we're going to rock 2020. If you're with me, let me know, throw some hearts, share this video. But if you want 2020 to look nothing like 2019 and to have start the year off with a bang, well, you know what to do. <laughs> share this, get your friends on board. Um, that's what's going to happen girls. And I'm telling you what, I am, I am ready for my 2020 to look incredible. And if you are, you're going to have to join me because this is how we roll, man. We are going to make this an amazing, amazing experience. Letha, yes. Thursday, December 12th at 7 p.m. You are also, Letha, if I'm not mistaken, I think you're also part of the club member. So the club is on Tuesday the 3rd at 2 p.m. forever <laughs> and ever. I mean, we, that's how we do our, our club stuff. Um, she's in it to win back her life. Brittany, we're in it to support you as you win back your life. We're all here to win back our lives and we're all doing this together. So yes, no, 2 p.m. for Hot Milk Club on the 3rd, Tuesday the 3rd. To, um, Thursday the 12th, I'll be doing it again, but this is going to be for the public and anybody who has the Take Back Your Life journal. You know, it's $15 for the PDF, so go get it. Um, it is... You know, if you are part of the Hot Milk Club, you get this free. We send it to you, the hard copy. You just have to go savingdinner.com slash club. And we have a coupon code to get uh, $75 off the yearly membership going on right now. So if you are interested in that, that's what you need to do. And by the way, club members, get on getting the, your supplements. I've talked to a lot of you. There's a bunch, we, Our supplements are in stock. Get them. Because this is, you know, we want, we want things that are going to move the needle, right? That's what, that's what collagen shots do and intermittent fasting, all of our little tricks of the trade. All of them do everything, okay? So what else was I going to say? Goodness. Oh, if you want your saving dinner Thanksgiving menu, whether it's classic, paleo, or hot melt style, which is keto, go to savingdinner.com slash Thanksgiving. And they're all right there. You can pick them up. You know, that's the drill. Thanksgiving is coming. You guys, the, the, the let, let me just say this too in closing because it's time. I got to get going here. Um, it, it, the holidays can be a, a time of just absolute devastation. Weight wise, too much to do, pressure, stress, crazy family. <laughs> do I need to say what what's going on? So take advantage of being in this this little community where we're not going to let our weight get away from us where Marla's going to be giving holiday missions and we can get everything handled and set up the holidays do not have to derail you 70 percent of Americans gain 7 to 13 pounds during the holidays not on my watch all right Marianne is asking when is free shipping over um, free shipping is, <laughs> we're making, we're making that, uh, we're making that judgment call right now because, you know, shipping costs keep going up. So we are, we're looking at it right now. Um, right now shipping is free. My suggestion is that you take advantage of that. Um, if you, you know, just, just take advantage of that. And I'm sure we'll have times when it is, but if you are a hot milk club member, you get it for free too. So there you go. That's what I have for you today. Don't forget, mark those dates down the 12th at 7 p.m. for um, our, we're going to do the webinar. It's going to take a long time, guys. That is going to be at least two hours. You will want, I will give you a list of, of items that you want, but start collecting your magazines. Trust me on this. Um, and I will show you my, I'll show you my vision board that is, I made in 2000. Uh, I made it last year, but you'll love it. It's just, it's really cool. 
and then I'm going to show you how to make one. And then also um, we're going to be going through and creating our lives, um, creating the next, making the first three months of 2020 to be incredible, incredible. So I want you to have a great Sunday. Go love on somebody and, and keep thinking big. Think about your dreams. Dream your dreams. All right? And share them, would you? Peace. Thanks for sharing your Sunday with me. Love you guys. Bye.